Hi dolls, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, hi, my name is Jalen Day. Welcome to my channel. <laughs> Y'all, I was trying to figure out something like cool to do like that because I don't be saying hey to the new people because like not everybody will subscribe that be watching. So I'm like trying to think of a new thing. So I'm gonna do it over. Hi dolls, welcome back to another video. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Jalen Day. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Yes, yeah, so I am back with another video. Another, no. I am back with another hair tutorial. First, what I want to say is these are bomb. This is going to be the easiest style that you've ever done. I think this one is more easier than my last tutorial with the other distress locks. Like these, I did in three hours. I literally did this in three hours. Like, come on. With that being said, I'm not going to talk that much. I know y'all like, come on, because we want to see the tutorial. I know. So before we begin, I'm going to tell you guys what supplies you need and what hair you will also need and how many packs and about how many locks I actually have. First, you will need some kind of jam or any kind of edge control or anything you want to use to slick your hair. It's your preference. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be this, but I use Shana Jam. Another thing needed would be scissors. Um, I really didn't use scissors as much. Sometimes I would just cut off like curls that I didn't want popping out so much. So scissors, you can use them. Next, you will need ponytail holders and clips just in case you want to move your hair out the way. Another thing that you will need is a comb. The most important thing that you would need is the crochet needle. You might need to get multiple because I'll be losing mine. We need this girl. We need this. And for the hair, this time we will only need one brand of hair. Free Tress Water Wave. I have 35 locks in my head right now and I use five packs. I didn't use all my five packs, I had some left, but technically I would have used all five packs because I added some blonde in my hair too. So really I had six packs, but I didn't really count the blonde as being like a pack. It was really not important, but five packs if you want just all solid color. Six packs would be good just in case you add more parting, you know, not everybody parts the same. If your lock messes up or something, you always have extra to just go back and fix it. But let's get into these locks. I will be heading over to a voiceover now. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And let's get straight to the video. So as you can see, I've already braided my hair in plait. Um, you could do triangle, square. It really doesn't matter. As long as your hair is all braided into plaits. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my first piece. First, I'm going to get two pieces of the Waterway Free Tress hair. I'm going to separate those pieces out. Once those two pieces are separated out, we can now use our crochet needle and crochet it into our hair. Once you have crocheted the hair in, you will then pull down the other side and make them both even. Once they are both even, make sure that you grab one half of the water wave and your hair at the same time. Once you have done that, you will now wrap the remaining piece around that piece. Make sure that you wrap tightly around the root. I say wrap about three times, three or four times, and then continue to wrap down. As you're wrapping down, make sure that you use the thumb method. The thumb method is where you put your thumb in between the hair and your finger and kind of pull outward away from the lock. This is how you get your lock to have that butterfly effect to it. As you're continuing to wrap down, you should be looking to see where you need to stop. Um, this is really up to you. Whatever length you decided, that's where you will stop the lock. So now that you're at the end, you're gonna take all of the remaining pieces of hair at the bottom and we're just going to wrap back upwards with it. It really doesn't have to be any specific way. I just kind of do every lock differently. Like that's what distressed is. Not everything is looking the same. Everything is unorganized. So me, I just wrap any kind of way. So as you can see, I didn't wrap completely up. 
that's because I don't want it to be too thick at the root. So don't wrap all the way up to the root. Kind of leave some space there so you can have a thin base at the top. I do also want to say that when you're wrapping, don't wrap too tight, don't wrap too loose. So when I start my lock, I wrap tight at the root and then I continue down. I'm not wrapping too tight, but I am wrapping the hair to where it can be sturdy and not so easy to fall apart. Wrapping back up, I don't have any methods. I kind of just wrap how I feel like on that lock, but my hands have loosened up. They look like they tight, but they're really not tight at all. And then don't forget to not wrap all the way back upwards so you can have a thin root.